The consultation of news has changed a lot in the past years. The type of platforms, the topics of interest, and the news is placed in today's society bring us to wonder where is the public now regarding to this industry. What is new for us now? Professor Peter Freit has a voice on this issue. We still have this idea that, you know, one size fits all. What your friend tells you on Facebook could well be news to you. And back in the old days, you know, it's what someone told you on a street corner was news to you. For Professor Freit, the audience really needs to be well understood and fragmented to be reached properly. It is something journalists didn't really care about before, according to him. When I was editor, we lived with the idea that all the news that you needed to know could be contained within a pages of a newspaper and that we knew best. And of course, digital changed everything. Not only destroyed the business model behind journalism, but also created the capacity for audiences to migrate all over the place. The Digital Report 2017 shows that 56% of the population avoid news occasionally or often. But why? But if we think about news in a traditional kind of journalistic output of news, some people have been turned off by the news as conflict. When we report political news, it's often reported as he said that, she said that. But actually, is that adding anything to my life? Do I know anything more? I think there's a lot of people who go, oh, that's just the politicians talking rubbish again. So why do I care? About one third of the questioned people nominated online media as their main source of news and over 17% nominated social medias. For Peter Frey, the mobile phone is so important in the news consuming, and reading newspaper on it is not particularly a great experience. The question is, will physical newspaper keep existing? For about a decade, people have been saying newspapers are dead. Certain newspapers on certain days or for certain audiences actually still have a role, so Professor Tony Hill thinks disappearance of newspaper will be a real tragedy. That we have to find a way to support that, whether or not um, news becomes funded by more general content providers as a way of um, a bit of a lost leader for their organisation and their, their, their profile with the public, I don't know, but we have to find a way of doing that. If we do not pay attention to the news, if we do not protect the value of news to be properly informed, then we are giving up one of the greatest benefits of our democracy. The population has now the choice between a lot of platforms to consume their news. Well, I think part of the problem has been the changing habits of the way people want to receive their news too. And I think that um, digital platforms and news that's available in digital formats now are giving people a much greater uh, I think variety of the kind of news and the kind of content and subjects that, um, that they consider to be news. So the very nature of news I think is changing.